right everyone so we are back for a billy sit it's a stick mate right so we're back to do another one of my gun dogs basics videos and today's session is going to lead on slightly from last session i'm going to get in the field with billy and i'm going to talk you through what we're going to do today and get you a bit of footage yeah Right, so we're in the field and what we're going to be talking about today is some basic straight sends. Now, I have covered this in lots of other videos and everything I probably covered in lots and lots of videos loads and loads of times. But at a very basic level, we're going to be talking about the routine that you saw me doing last time. So being able to do a basic send retrieve, uh, the heel work that goes in between that, the sit, the direction, the send, etc. So very similar to the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, I'll put a link in the description go down and perhaps watch that first and then come back to this video. But basically, once you can do a straight send in one direction, I want to start being able to send the dog in one direction for one retrieve, which is a mark slash memory retrieve, putting a retrieve down, turning around, walking in the opposite direction, putting another retrieve down, saying leave that, turning, walking back towards the original retrieve and then sending the dog. And this is us leading on from the last session, trying to get the dog to a remember a retrieve that's originally put down but you've got the distraction of the last retrieve that the dog has seen put down dogs at a very basic level always want to go for the last retrieve they've seen we have some separation in between so there's a few key points so for example when i put a retrieve down i might say leave that turn around walk back the other way put another retrieve down leave that and i will predominantly walk the majority of the way back towards the original retrieve which i want the dog to be able to see the retrieve on the floor at a basic level because that's going to help to make sure the dog goes to the retrieve i want and then we're going to build on that from there so i'm going to try and show you now what it is that i'm going to try and do come on in billy it's a good boy so the first thing we're going to do is put a retrieve down here i'm going to tell him to leave that and walk in the opposite direction and when i first start this you don't need to do this over any vast distance um, I might be doing this over really quite short distances to start with. Maybe the total width between one retrieve and another might be about 15 or 20 meters, so not very far. But I want enough room to be able to walk the dog properly at heel in between. So you're getting to work on your heel, your sit, your eye contact, your send, steadiness, memory. There's lots of different things going on in amongst this drill. So the first thing I'm going to put a retrieve down here, I'm going to tell him to leave that, I'm going to walk that way, put one down at that end, say leave that, walk back towards this retrieve and then hopefully send them for it put that one back down and then i'm going to try, try and then pick the one at the other end so this is what we're going to do we're going to use a nice high vis dummy for this because i want him to be able to see where these retrieves are this isn't about hunting an area out this is just about him making the right choice off the direction the command that i give him so i'm going to put that one down leave that i'm going to turn and walk the other way turn into him nice fast walk It. now i'm going to throw one the other way now obviously the distance that you can throw this retrieve will have a bearing on how well this goes but it doesn't need to be a long way you can pretty much do the full length of this uh, paddock no problem but there's no need for me to show you that today it's just the basis premise of the rules that we're doing so we're going to put this one down now so leave that good boy turn into him walk back towards this one <clears throat> sit now what you'll notice is that one's probably almost twice the distance this one is. And I want him to be able to see this one. So I want to walk him within range so that he knows he's definitely going for that one. So I'm going to send him for it. Right. Nice clear command. It's going to run out, bring it back, hopefully. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Spend my time praising him. Left hand lead, right hand retrieve. So I've got my training lead on. Dead. Ah, heel. I'm going to come back here. Sit. I'm going to put this one down again leave it I'm going to turn into him little tug first tug heel I'm going to walk him away sit now i'm obviously pointing him at that one there so i'm going to do a nice straight send on this one Stick. sit good boy good boy dead dead Right, so I'm going to put this one back out again now. Now, each time you do this, if the dog proves to you that he can do it, you can walk this one out a little bit further, throw it a little bit further. So this one's going to be more in that direction. I'm still going to walk back towards this one, and I want to build on this slowly. So I might spend weeks 
you know, normally you could do this as soon as you can do a basic back retrieve and a straight send retrieve, then you can start doing this. But in the early stage, you don't want to make the dog go too far. You want to focus on making sure the heel work, the sit, the memory, the eye contact, all those parts are right, and then build on the distance slowly from there. So I'm going to put this one back out again, heel, sit. So one of the things you can do also is you can just practice making him sit and walk out and put this one. With a young dog, I always face the dog as I walk away. I never turn my back on the dog with a young dog. So I'm going to put this one out. So what you notice there, I put that one a bit further now. What I would say is when you first start doing that, doing this drill, sorry, sit, I wouldn't do that. I would just keep the dog at heel all the time. So I'm gonna send him for this one now. Right. Also, you might notice when he comes in now, I'm gonna back off him and I wanna slow him down gently, sit, good boy. I'll touch on that quickly because someone asked me about it the other week, heel, on delivery. If you stand still with your dog, and there's lots of bits that go into this. If you stand still when a dog's running back, and if it's running back quite fast, especially if you're doing a longer retrieve, if you stand still, dogs to do one of two things normally. They either pile into you or they run straight past you. I teach something called recall sit, and this is part of my heel lead work, where I teach the dog how to approach me and sit, how to approach me and sit. And so when the dog gets within a couple of meters, I start to go into this recall sit, Actually, I'm just gonna put a little video of me doing recourse sit up here in the video now, and you'll be able to see me doing it while I'm carrying on talking to you. But I'll be doing that recourse sit, recourse sit, so that when I then go into that delivery, <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit. That dog has got used to approaching and sit and approaching and sit. So as the dog gets within a couple of meters, I'll show you on the next one, I go into that recourse sit. The only thing is I don't use a stop whistle at the end because if you've watched any of my videos, I teach my dogs to spit a retrieve out on a stop whistle. So you'll never see me using my stop whistle to teach my dog to sit at the end. I always use a verbal, which is sit. You won't see me blow my whistle. It doesn't mean you can't, but I don't do it because I teach my dogs to do this advanced skill of being able to spit a retrieve out on anyone. Don't ask me about it. It's a, it's a thread that can go on and on and on. But I'm going to show you that in a second. So heel, I'm going to put this one back out again. So that one goes down. Now what I can do now is over time, and this isn't within one session, over time, I can start to, when I turn around and go back, not go too close to that retrieve. So I can literally turn, heel, maybe a few steps, sit, and then send him. Right. Now what I don't do, let me pick that. I'm gonna go into the recall sit now so you can see. Sit. Good boy, good lad, good lad. Shame he was pointing the wrong way for you to see that then sit. But that's where I went into that recall sit. I'll do another video on that another time. But what I always do, I was about to say before, is whenever I turn to go back towards that retrieve, I always, always walk a few steps no matter what. It sort of breaks that umbilical cord in the dog's brain about the other retrieve. So I'm going to put this one back out again. Heel. So I'm partly doing this so I stay on the microphone because I know if I go too far away, but normally at an early stage, always walking the dog to heel. Just throwing that one a little bit further this time. I'm gonna call him into me. Heel, sit. Now I'm gonna pick that one, a bit more space on this one this time. Right. So I'll go into the recall sit again so you can see it from this angle. Two meters, sit. Good boy, well done, good lad, good lad. Left hand lead, right hand retrieve, ah, ah. gently. So I can come back again, sit him up, sit, put this one out, heel, tug, turn into him, always straighten the dog up, toes in the right place. I'm not a fan of this. I've seen so many people do that in trials and the dog peels off to the left, it makes you look a bit of a wally. So I like to point at the retrieve like my arm's a gun sight, and then I just send them straight for it. Right. Bit of hump whistle. Recall, sit. Sit. I'll do it this way, sit. He tends to prop his head between my legs, you see that? <laughs> He's quite nice like that, good boy. Left hand lead. Right hand retrieve, dead. Let's walk out again. 
we blow my stop whistle, you'll notice when I blow my stop whistle, he just sits. Didn't even blow it, I just said sit. <laughs> this is the problem when you're making videos. I said sit and he sat. <laughs> Heel. So now on this one, I could slowly increase this distance out on this one. Heel. Heel. Sit. Heel. Sit. Again, I'm going to point at the retrieve. Right. Right. Just confused him there slightly. Good boy. Into that recall set. Sit. As I said, heel. As I said, with a lot of dogs, especially if they've got a, a bit of speed about them, sit, Billy. They've got a bit of speed about them. They'll either clatter into you or they'll run past you. You end up with a poor delivery. If your dog um, isn't that quick, still even a lot at this stage i'm normally in my salad pets but still a lot at this stage i will still often end up going down on the ground to encourage them into me it stops them running past me a lot of the time and you want to build up that distance slowly right hopefully you get an idea for this i'm going to pick that one now billy billy this one's a bit further sit right if you just keep building on this and building on it and building on it it's amazing how far, how quickly you can do. Good lad. Sit. For the camera, sit. Head on my legs. Good boy, well done. Good boy. Left hand lead, right hand retrieve. Little tug, dog back to heel, sit. So basically we're practicing getting the dog, ignoring the retrieve that's at one end, putting another one out, turn around, always make sure you've got that little bit of walking in between, make sure the heel works good, even though you're focusing on the retrieves, make sure that heel work is good in between uh, the sit. Bring all those parts together and you can just slowly build on this distance. Then. So you've got a nice, I like a fence line or a hedge line, it keeps the dog going in a nice straight line. But in a matter of six or eight weeks, you could go from quite a small puppy doing quite short retrieves to quite a decent distance. Make sure it's a safe field though. I don't want you losing your dog in any way, but just gradually build on this. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful. Billy, Billy, good boy, sit. Hope this video has been useful, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, any questions, stick them in the description below. Happy training, guys.